Nope. What's up everybody and welcome to this video, where I will be comparing my old cropped sensor DSLR camera to my new full frame mirrorless camera in terms of photography. As I've said in my previous video, the main reason that I bought this specific camera is that I wanted a camera that I could use for photography and also for videography. And I also already had some Nikon glass from my previous camera. But what I expected from the new camera going in, because it has a newer sensor with better technology, is that the picture quality, especially taking pictures in higher ISOs, would be better than it was with my old camera. So that's why I did some comparison shots with both cameras, taking pictures of the same subject with the same lens, obviously using the DX crop factor in this camera to match the picture frame. And I put them side by side to see if there are any differences. And to be honest, I was surprised by the results. First thing I have to mention, of course, is that I shot everything in RAW format. I set the same white balance for both cameras and I tried to match most settings to be exactly the same. The first thing that I noticed is that even taking the pictures in RAW, the colors are different. And that surprised me a little bit. As you can see here, for example, the reds are completely different and also the blacks are way deeper in the D7100, that's the old camera. This was, uh, this was shot at ISO 100, so there's not really a lot of noise going on, no, no grain. Then I took some pictures where I would underexpose the photo on purpose and then take up the exposure on post just to see if there is any difference in quality. And at ISO 100, even when underexposing the picture, I don't see much of a difference. I also took a picture for the reference. This is how the frame looks when I use the full sensor of my new camera compared to the frame of the crop sensor camera. The crop sensor is more zoomed in than the full frame sensor is. This is all shot at 200 millimeters. Now let's increase the ISO to 2000. This is where I would expect some grain to appear, especially in the old camera. As you zoom in, you start seeing some grain appearing. The interesting thing is that the old camera, D7100, does have more grain in the picture. You see it clearly, but the new camera, the Z6, starts having some color noise. Now, I don't have the correct terms for that, sorry about that, but you can see it, how there are some color aberrations in the picture. Instead of everything being like this black gray, you see like purple and yellow and green dots in the picture. It does have less grain, but it does have color aberrations. This is how I would define it. And then I went down to 6400 ISO, which is pretty much the maximum that my old camera can do. The same story is going on. You have more grain in the older camera, but the newer camera has all these color aberrations, which make the picture way worse to look at compared to the old camera. But of course, this is all raw and without any editing, except for adapting the exposure on pictures that I took with low exposure on purpose. Here I did the same. I underexposed the picture on purpose with ISO 6400 and I increased the exposure by two steps in post and here you see it even more. The old camera has a lot of grain, but the color noise is horrible on the new camera. And I also took some pictures at ISO 6400 while making the room as dark as possible. And it's the same here, you have the color noise in the new camera and the grain in the old camera. And now this is actually the worst quality picture that I took. That's at ISO 6400 and with, in a dark room, so I also had to expose the picture for a long time, which introduces some extra noise and you can see the same. First, the colors are even more different than they were before and the color noise in the new camera is really horrible and in the old camera you have all this grain but here when you look at the full picture you actually notice how the old camera has the purple tints in the lower left and lower part of the picture while the new camera has an even exposure and coloring through the whole camera. So I must say that I'm a little bit disappointed with my results here because I really thought that because this is a new camera with a newer sensor and newer technology that I would end up with less noise. After looking at these pictures I thought about the setting that there is in the camera. It's called high ISO noise induction. Well I was pretty sure that 
it wouldn't have any effect on rust, so I had it off for all the shots that I took. But I still went back and took some other pictures with this setting on, just to be sure that it doesn't have any effect on the raw files. And I was actually right with my assumption. As you see, so this is 6400 I saw in RAW, you still have the color aberrations, but as soon as you change onto the JPEG picture, you see that the color aberrations are not there, because the camera does apply the high ISO noise reduction only on JPEG formats. The lens that I use for all those shots is the Nikon 70 to 300, 10.4 to 6.3, which obviously isn't the best lens there is out there. So that's it for now. To sum it up, I'm a little bit disappointed in the photography quality of the new camera compared to my older camera, the D7100, which was like half the price of this camera. But at least the video quality didn't let me down so far. I really love it. But that's it for now. I will be making more videos regarding this camera in the future. So stay tuned for it. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye.